Hey, hey, what's happening, everybody? This is your brother, Reverend Dr. Sinclair Gray III. Look, I'm about to say something to you, and it's going to make church leaders very angry. Now, many of you know I am a pastor, and I can truthfully say I have not been guilty of what I'm about to tell you. To all church members, to everybody attending church, let me say this, be careful, be careful of all these um, pimping preachers who like to have the $100 line, the $75 line, the $50 line, and the $25 line, and here's my favorite, the bring what you can line, in order to support their lavish lifestyles. Look here, ministry is about serving the needs of the people. Yes, there is expenses to ministry, to do ministry at a five-star level, but when preachers, pastors, and church leaders, whoever, how, whoever you wanna label them as, start asking for dollar amounts to uh, fund their lavish lifestyles, we got a problem. Now, I'm not against churches asking members for a certain dollar amount to help out the church ministry, programs, repairs to the church. But when we have all these churches, uh, a lot of these church leaders pimping folks for the $100 line, $75 line, we got a problem. And I'm going to tell you what you ought to do. The next time you go to church and you find a man or woman of God trying to separate people based on economics, $100 line over here, $75 line over there. Don't throw up your church finger. You just get up and walk. And when they ask you why you're leaving, just tell them you're not being pimped. You have better things to do. You didn't come to the casino, but rather you want to seek the true house of God whereby you can worship you can get fed the word of God, and then you can become better from the inside out. Once again, please, to all my brothers and sisters, don't let church hypocrites pimp you for their lavish lifestyles. It's not worth it. And remember this, you are better than that.